Hi everyone, um, and welcome to my um, book review. Well, it's a it's a series because this is just um, chapter one of fifteen. So anyway, this is Master Wong's book. Let me give you a close up, uh, Master Wong, the event, book one, Little Dragon, and this has uh, this has fifteen chapters. I'm I'm just reviewing the first chapter right now, and the first uh, the first part. Let me uh, let me show you this warning. So it has a warning right here. Warning, oh, sorry, that's the wrong warning. It has this other warning right here. No part of this book may be used or reproduced in any manner whatsoever without written permission, except in the case of brief quotations embodied in critical articles or reviews. So hopefully this uh, fits with um, me quoting the thing that says only quote this for reviews. Hopefully that fits within the um, use use of this. So actually, the um, usually I skip intros, and actually the intro to this um, goes all the way to pa to page twenty one. <laughs> But I um, I read the I read the first and the, they're like 20, 20 different well it can't be twenty because they're like two pages each but they're like ten different sections like explanation of names disclaimer dedications acknowledgments and at first I thought they were boring because most um, mo in most books they're really really boring but in this one um, they're really interesting so and like one gives a background on the Vietnam War which I, d I didn't know very much about I've been to Vietnam a few times but uh, but this was really really interesting. So so anyway, I, I read all the disclaimers, and then and then started on um, chapter chapter one. So um, it's it's interesting. It's about Master Wang when he was six years old. At least that's when the um, that's when the story takes place. I'm guessing that by the end of the book he'll be about ten or or twelve. But it's about a young um, Master Wang, and. Um, and it's it's a really really different tone than most of his videos. Most of his videos are um, are like, hey, um, if I if I if I ran into someone, I'd kick him in the head, and I'd do this, and I and then I'd elbow him, and then um, and it's just very um, all all of his videos are exciting and dramatic, and and this uh, this book has a lot of a different tone to it. Um, it it says in the intro that it's all about bullying, and um, chapter one um, chapter one yeah is is basically about um, bullying. But um, but anyway, when um, my uh, my little brother does um, uh, um, um, does some fighting and and I saw one of his first matches and um, and uh, and I'm not a I'm not a martial artist so I, oh I should I should read that that other disclaimer that I uh, that uh, that I showed you it's this one it's this one right here it says warning all of the techniques described in this book are dangerous to use and should not be attempted by anyone who is untrained or undisciplined in martial arts. And that's exactly me. I'm untrained and undisciplined in martial arts. But my, uh, my little brother knows a lot about martial arts. And so um, one of his first matches when he was like super, super skinny, not um, he's, he's, really, he's really big and buff now, but he used to be really super skinny. So in one of his first matches, he, um, I, I, I was there and I'm not, a, I'm not a martial artist. I um, prefer chess or go. But um, and 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 it's just, it, um, for me, it was just a weird, um, like a weird, different, like like much much different than a chess match because everyone's yelling, everyone's drinking, and um, and I remember them yelling, "Kick him in the head! Kick him in the head! Kick him in the head!" And and, and at first, I wanted to um, to like fit in and be part of the crowd and say, "Yeah, kick him in the head!" But um, and and. And I remember a lot of people saying, "If I were up there, I would kick him in the head. If I were up there, I would do this." I, um, and I, I thought, "Oh, that's well. Why don't you go up there?" And because um, the entry, um, like they're looking for people to get beat, um, beaten up, so it's pretty easy, I think, to join um, uh, amateur martial arts um, competition. But anyway, um, I was about to, I was about to yell with a crowd, "Kick him in the head!" And then I realized, "Oh, they're talking about kicking my little brother in the head." I don't want anyone to kick my little brother in the, in the head. So um, anyway, um, so so like um, like I mentioned, this um, this book is about bullying, and and that's a really really cool topic, especially to write a whole book about and uh, to write a really interesting book about. Uh, and um, and actually, when I was reading uh, when I was reading this book, originally I was gonna read a chapter at night, then think um, think about it, and then in the morning make a video. And that's a mistake that I made with chapter one. Is I read chapter one at night, and it's um, pretty harrowing, like. Um, 
pretty violent and um, gr grisly, gritty, um, um, a bunch of acronyms of grisly, harrowing, gritty. And so after after reading chapter one, I couldn't sleep for like a couple hours. So I think that's um, I I don't think I'm going to read um, this book anymore at night, right before like like I don't think it's good bedtime reading, um, unless you finish the whole book. And and because I'm trying to review every chapter, then um, probably well, well I guess I could read a chapter, review a chapter, read a chapter, review a chapter, because because um, actually this um, the um, chapter one ends on a cliffhanger. And let me read that cliffhanger for you. Okay, so here's um, and, and and that's a um, that's a sign of a good book is that um, every every chapter should end on a cliffhanger, and so I hope they continue this, or I hope Master Wong continues this. Um, if if they thought, um, and this this is Master Wong and his family, if they thought that what they were going through at the time was tough, they didn't know what well, they didn't know that life was about to get much much harder and grim for them. So anyway, after after reading that book, I thought, oh wow, what's what happen what happens next? Because the first the first chapter is very very grim, like um, dozens or hundreds of people die, and um, and uh, um, already after um, already during the war, lots of people were die um, ha had had died, and then this um, this takes place I think three or four f um, years after the Vietnam War, so um, so anyway, yeah. Um, it is well. Well, it's it, it's grim, but it's very very interesting, and it tells um, it tells a really cool story. And um, in in the um, in the introduction, it says this is a book about boat people in Vietnam, and boat people are people that tried to get um, escape from Vietnam. And um, and what uh, what he mentions is that in. Um, that conditions in Vietnam in the late 70s were so bad that people were trying to leave, even though they knew the mortality rate on the boats was um, was very um, was only like 50 percent, like like only a 50 percent chance of living. So they said. Um, so he um, he said that people people knew uh, knew they only had a 50 percent chance of leaving, but. To stay in Vietnam was uh, to stay at Vietnam during the during those times was um, much much worse than taking a fifty percent chance of living somewhere else, which uh, which uh, which, uh, which does sound very very grim. And I've been to Vietnam now, and Vietnam now is really really cool. It's one of the coolest places in the world. But um, but yeah, I can I believe what he says about Vietnam back um, back then. And 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 chapter one tells like an interesting story about a lot of the stuff, um, especially from a kid's point of view about um, about his parents. Um, trying to figure out how to get uh, how to get out of Vietnam, and and I've met um, I've met a few people in um, in the U.S. that um, that left on um, left on boats. Oh, and the and the other really really interesting thing that he said is that um, he said that a lot of people leaving the boats or um, a lot of people leaving on boats um, didn't actually have a place that they were going to. They were just hoping that someone would pick them up, and. Um, like, uh, like a um, like a barge or um, like um, like someone um, someone going to international waters and then take them um, take them away so they weren't sailing to get to like Australia they were sailing to find a boat in the middle of the uh, a friendly boat in the middle of the ocean that would pick them um, up um, let me see Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, it answers my biggest question: Why is Master Wong called Master Wong? Because Wong is not a Vietnamese name. And um, when uh, when he when he when he moved to England, then he changed his name to Michael. Um, but his original Vietnamese name is Hung. So um, so anyway, it, it it explains that. I'm not gonna. So anyway, it explains that in the book, and I'm not going to go into that because I am trying to make as spoiler-free as a review of this as possible. But um, one of the things uh, – this actually has one of the most powerful um, quotes that I've read in the last, um, I don't know, maybe four months. Um, so so I'm, I'm not going to give any context here, but it says, the man – the man looked over his shoulder. Yes, yes, they probably will. But if I let them get away with bullying me or my son, then I might as well be dead. So that um, that's a really, really cool 
quote. Oh, and um, I don't remember if I just said this, but it explains why Master Wong is called Master Wong. Well, well, actually, it doesn't um, call explain why he's called Master. It explains why he's called Wong. I think it's pretty obvious why he's um, Master. So uh, that's my uh, that's my review of chapter one. If you guys like this, I'll review chapter two, three, four, up to fifteen. And um, just based on chapter one, I highly recommend that you read this book. And hopefully, you like it. And thanks very much.